if everyone is moving forward together then success takes care of itself says henry ford standing together in fraternal collaboration the spirit of synodality is what don bosco nero has always stood for and as we reopened to physical classes after being in the online mode for 2 years it's this spirit of synodality that helped us get back on our feet without a hitch with challenges gala we held hands with all our stakeholders to make a seamless transition from the online to the offline mode so hop along as we travel back in time to catch a few glimpses of the year that was school reopened on 7th april 2022 the gates opened to welcome everyone from the tiny tots to the 12th graders getting back to school is a wonderful feeling and we had a lot of catching up to do not only in academics but also with our friends we heralded the new academic year with an inaugural prayer service where we invoked the blessings of the almighty with the traditional sprinkling of holy water on everyone new beginnings are often marked with a few endings we bid farewell to our vice rector father thomas chalisery our principal father blaise fernandes and our administrator father roy narona father rector expressed our sincere gratitude to the team for their dedicated service and contribution to the institution our rector dr father barnaby de souza welcomed the new management team comprising our vice rector father dominic lisboa our principal ms sangeeta bhattacharya and our vice principal and administrator father akhil abraham who have joined our don bosco nerul family from june 2022 just before the school reopened the whole staff had in house trainings in career guidance and career education the don bosco pedagogy design thinking and inclusive education so as to give the students their very best training future leaders is of paramount importance and it all starts at school for the very first time don bosco took the students council to indore for a week long training program in the last week of march 2022 the well trained youngsters were then inducted as school captains and house captains in an elaborate investiture ceremony which was held on 6th july 2022 the leaders in the making were handed over their badges and sashes by our principal and their respective class teachers it was indeed a proud moment to see our young students all girded up to shoulder their new responsibilities we welcomed father bijo michael general counselor for south asia who conducted the extraordinary visitation of the community of don bosco nerul on 12th august 2022 father bijo michael commended don bosco nerul for its commitment and dedication to nurturing the spirit of don bosco the daily morning talks and the value education programs seek to impart the much needed values which are the very bedrock of a healthy society and twined with academics are a host of activities all aimed at the holistic development of every child these include both indoor and outdoor activities and are held twice a week every student is enrolled in one activity the physical education games period and the dsg periods are all geared towards promoting the physical well-being of our students monsoon madness had all the students enthused as it was after a two year break the annual sports day saw the students competing housewise thus also building their team spirit the theme sports for peace highlighted the fact that sports can indeed be a unifying factor in a world fraught with strife art integration is an integral part of the curriculum at don bosco painting sketching skit music drama radio shows are all a part of the learning process here the ccas held every week give every student an opportunity not only to showcase his or her talents but to also hone them with its focus on experiential learning the nep lays great emphasis on hands on learning in keeping with this principle we had a school exhibition in october 2022 
for students of classes 1st to 12th. The students put up exhibits that ranged from problems that are caused by advancement of technology and misuse of it by humans to integrating subjects and topics in a creative way. One of the most awaited events of this year was the visit of our beloved Rector Major Father Ongil Fernandez Artemi, the 10th successor of Don Bosco, who made his first visit to Don Bosco Senior Secondary School on 22nd October 2022. A host of programs were lined up to welcome the Rector Major, which included classical Bharatnatyam dance by students and a stage program by students of both the school and the oratory. The highlight of his event was the blessing of the Don Bosco Academy, a one-stop destination with a variety of courses that cater to every strata of society. If you carry your childhood with you, you never become older. Tom Stopel Celebrating the joy of childhood was the Children's Day program organized on 14th November 2022. The campus was abuzz with excitement and joy as children in their best attires participated in various games organized for them. Stalls set by teachers had students vying with each other to win as many prizes as possible. Don Bosco Nehru, being aware of the pressing need for career guidance, conducted aptitude tests for students of class 10 so as to guide them to make the right choice of career. Going a step further, it organized its first ever career fair on 19th November 2022, with delegates from more than 55 different universities from the USA, the UK, France and Canada, in addition to delegates from Indian universities showcasing their programs and courses the students and parents had a lot of career options to choose from. In keeping with the NEP's emphasis on promoting the spirit of dialogue and preparing our students to be future world citizens, the first edition of Don Bosco School Nehru's Model United Nation was conducted on 29th and 30th November 2022. The young adults engaged in solving conflicts related to daunting global issues in a spirit of collaboration truly represented the model United Nations in its true essence. National and religious festivals are celebrated with great fervor at Don Bosco and this year was no different. Independence Day, Ras Garba, Christmas were a few that were celebrated with great gusto. The splendid celebration of Independence Day rekindle the spirit of patriotism in us. The Ras Garba had our students twirling and tapping to peppy numbers. For Christmas, the entire school had a fairy tale look with festoons and tinsels in every nook and corner. The Christmas panorama transported us to the hill country of Bethlehem as we relived the Christmas story. The joy of giving week saw the students and parents generously donate various articles like notebooks, pens, groceries, toiletries, etc. for the underprivileged. Their generosity enabled us to bring a little cheer into the lives of the needy. St. Paul writes, Now finish the work so that your eager willingness to do it may be matched by your completion of it, according to your needs. The year that's gone back saw us win many accolades. We experienced the joy of winning in the following sporting events. Our experienced coaches have helped our students do extremely well, especially in inter-school sporting events.
flag of the school flying high at the 14th National Boskuri held in Guwahati in December. 11 of our scouts and guides won 11 of the 14 events and also secured overall first place in the subcamp. When learning is filled with joy and eagerness, it's a learning for life. The academic year 2022-23 has been one such joyful experience and as we come to its close, we pray that Don Bosco may sustain us in our endeavour as we strive to bring to perfection the dream we had for the youth.